This is palm oil. For almost every meal we eat daily, we have amounts of this inside of it. The palm oil industry in Nigeria and around the world is over a billion dollars monthly because people consume it not just for eating but for other products. So every time I want to cook any meal that involves me using a palm oil, I don't know which to use. I go to the market today, I get a product and the next day I get different value for that same product. For me, in making decision between this and this, I had to go for both of them and know what stands out. With time, I found the uniqueness in this because of their good quality control, the ingredient branding and their brand identity. And I also knew that they have a customer here to talk to. I reached out to the CEO. My name is Joshua Joseph Idion and I'm the CEO of Josalt Oil Processing Company. Just like water and sand, palm oil has become a commodity. The market is so open and anybody can sell at almost any price with any quality available out there. So what do you do when you are in this kind of market and how can you stand out with your products? There's a question I get almost every time and that question is around why brand palm oil? When you, you see people sell palm oil everywhere in the open market and is a commodity that is general. But one thing that was not certain is how do I ascertain quality? How am I sure that um, the quality I get today is what I'm going to get tomorrow? We wanted a brand people can trust. If you are a player in this market, there are some things you need to do before you can charge premium because people need to see that your product is being differentiated for them to pay you premium. Now what makes us stand out in um, this particular industry is the fact that um, our business also looks at the social impact part of what we do. Another one is the fact that we are able to control pricing to an extent. Brand identity is very important to make you stand out from others in the market. The next thing is our unique brand identity. Uh, we're able to put a name behind this commodity that people think um, they can get anywhere and that they don't really have reputation in terms of quality. But we're able to do that. Our product is never certified. We have a branding, we have a system that ensures that people get quality. And more importantly, you need to have some rituals for your brand. The rituals can range from a cooking competition or anything that makes people want to know your brand often and come to use your products. Aside the normal day to day business, there are other major events, activities we carry out in our company. Um, we start with the first one, which we call the World Palm Oil Day celebration. On World Palm Oil Day, what we do is that we bring people in our industry, stakeholders, farmers, um, investors, uh, distributors, people that sell fertilizers, anybody around the value chain to come and collaborate. Also, young people to also identify opportunities where they can come in and actually make this industry more viable. We also have the cooking competition. So, we want young people to invent new food through the cooking competition. We also have the Oil Palm Tour. The oil palm tour is to help us identify major challenges that farmers are facing um, that the, the government is not aware of, that um, suppliers are not aware of and how we can actually solve this problem. With this, you can easily create a category for your brand in a commodity market and charge premium while you deliver good value. Wow! I'm grateful for everyone watching this right now. And I hope you found this helpful. We all know that there are many global brands that need to be created. And that is why I am putting out this video. For the next 14 days, I will be creating videos for every single day towards my birthday. Because my birthday is May 14. Take out time to like, follow or subscribe to this page where you are watching this. And sing global. See you in the next Brad video.